I think storytelling has always been the currency around which we drive uh, our biggest value on behalf of the clients that we serve. You can go back into history. One of my favorite examples is a story that was attributed to Ernest Hemingway. It was actually a newspaper ad, but in today's world, these six little words could have just as easily been a tweet and they're really powerful. The six words simply are for sale, baby shoes, never worn. And they weren't talking about the shoes. They were talking about the tragedy of the mother whose baby lost its life. And they were looking to sell the shoes to keep the family together. You know, there's a lot of heart and soul behind that transactional message. And that's, I think, really pointing to the new realities and the new opportunities that exist in the world today. And a lot of those realities aren't necessarily rooted in only the story itself. It's rooted in the context in which the story is delivered and engaged within. So empathy, more importantly, empathy, which is one of the drivers of the way that we go about our planning process, we call it OMD design, that really cuts through the clutter. So it's not just the content of the story, it's the context in which the story is told. And a lot of that comes down to ultimately how our planning process works. Having what we call a human-centered planning process, similar OMD design, is really fundamental to how we have to unlock and solve the creative challenges that are put before us today. And I think the key to future success in solving those problems is to shift, is to shift that focus to human behavior in our briefs from activation strategies all the way through ultimately towards driving the right KPIs towards that brand's success. So empathy, context, in addition to the content itself. So John, how do you work with programmers, media owners to make this all work? What's their role? You know, the role of programmers really is not unlike the role that we treat all of our partners um, in terms of making it incredibly collaborative. You know, the old world of iteration where we go down some rabbit hole, we come up with some message and then we try and back it into the media. That's been all reverse engineered. It really starts with an audience first understanding of what the planning process needs to be. And in order for us to be as smart as we need to be in terms of the context in which the message is delivered, we absolutely have to be in lockstep, in lock sync with the publishers and the platforms within which we tell that message because we're much better together than we are independently. There's an economic multiplier effect when we come together and we unlock that value that we can bring forth on behalf of the clients that we serve. And today with the technologies that are at our fingertips, um, and the other opportunities that exist, that's much more of a reality than it ever has been in the history uh, in the past. Yeah, and not to get too deep in the weeds and all the goodies and the tools, but what, what sort of uh, innovations are exciting to you in terms of platforms or tools or opportunities that uh, are in your you know, uh, paint kit right now? Well, we have an ever-expanding toolkit and it's never etched in stone and there's really no finish line because we're constantly evolving along with our audiences as well as the marketplaces. But, you know, a few things come to mind. First of all, the power of data and recognizing those moments, those signals that we need to pick up that really drive the end-to-end -end platform. You know, all of that comes from the ecosystem that we have at our availability and that's Omni. And Omni helps us stay connected you know, throughout the entire process. And it helps us deliver experiences at scale. And for us, experiences are what it's all about. It's no longer a 30 second TV ad that has to carry the, you know, the thrust and the full impact of the communications plans that we put forth on behalf of our clients. By working with our clients also, we're able to unlock other opportunities. So take a client and a partner of ours, which is Snap. You know, if you look back on the Super Bowl last year with Pepsi, uh, PepsiCo came to the table and we partnered with Snap and we did a lot of interesting things with AR to, uh, to uh, you know, unlock even more value on behalf of, uh, of, of those brands and those products that we were selling. So we're finding an awful lot of value add by partnering with the platforms, but also with some of our clients to see if we can take one and one and turn it into five. Now, John, there's been a lot of talk about attention. We've spoken to Chrissy, one of your colleagues, about it. It's very exciting. What does attention mean and how do you measure it and use it? And what's the utility of understanding attention from your perspective? 
Well, to unpack the power of attention, you really need to look at the challenge that's out there today. And that is, is that consumers, people like you and I are being bombarded by more and more messaging than at any other point in history. So you know what it means for us? We have to earn the respect and the intention and the engagement and ultimately the action on behalf of the customers and the audiences that we serve. And in so doing that, we're turning attention into an actual KPI that we're able to measure and we're able to use that to unlock that value on behalf of the clients that we serve. So what does that mean? It means tilting and pivoting from what we used to look at in terms of what's the cheapest CPMs. And we're looking at pivoting that into looking at them through the lens of what's the most attentive CPMs that we can achieve. And we do it brand by brand and we custom client by client how we do that. And we use those cues, those measurements to help us translate the true cost of the attention on behalf of the advertisers to unlock the true value that that attention provides to the advertisers that we serve. And John, finally, um, you know, the role of the media agency going into 2022, there's a lot of changes, a lot of interest, a lot of value as a partner. It's not just putting in the old insertion order and sort of, um, you know, buying agent demo. It's, 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 it's a, things are changing quickly. So if you were to sort of talk about sort of the, um, the opportunities of, of OMD, of, of media agencies and sort of the work ahead, what's exciting to you, what would you say? I think in terms of what's most exciting to me is, you know, technology is often thought of as a great accelerant, but it's also um, an incredibly valuable and important weapon that we have that helps us deliver greater value on behalf of the clients we serve towards the audiences that we seek to deliver against. And I think that with those technologies, it enables us to do a better job, to be more precise uh, at scale, to take the storytelling approach that we used to do and pump it out to the masses. And actually, you know, the world we live in today, sometimes, you know, our consumers are the best storytellers uh, of all. And so if we can give them the tools to enable them to tell the story on our behalf, you know, that to me is pretty special airspace. One of the great campaigns that I personally love looking back on this holiday season is shot on iPhone, that shot on iPhone 13, that beautiful ad with the uh, the young child trying to preserve the life of the snowman. I think it's a snowman, could be a snow woman uh, that, uh, that that child built. And it was just a wonderful piece of communication that certainly had a shelf life a heck of a lot longer than a 30 or 60 second ad on television. It existed all over the place. And when it engaged with me, it was really meaningful because it was in a state of mind at a time when that message really truly resonated. So I think coming full circle, Andy, I think what's most exciting to me, given the times that we live in, is the right technologies with the right planning process, with the right respect towards earning the attention of the consumers and the audiences that we deliver against, if you plus all that together, we can be much more intentional, much more effective, you know, in a much more powerful way to deliver the right results, to exceed the expected results that we want to deliver on behalf of the clients that we serve. 